Compound event. A compound event consists of two or more simple events. For example, tossing a coin two times in a row. Sample space. The set of all possible outcomes in a probability experiment. The sample space of tossing two coins in a row would be heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, and tails, tails, because these are all the possible outcomes when tossing a coin two times in a row. Tree diagram. A tool that provides a visual representation of the sample space. You can see I squared the actual tree diagram. And they call it a tree diagram because the arrows are similar to the branches on a tree. If you look at the bottom of the tree diagram, you will see that same sample space as before. Determine the sample space example. You are conducting a probability experiment. The experiment involves two separate events. The first event is a coin toss, and the second event is rolling a number cube. Make a tree diagram to find the sample space and determine the total number of outcomes. So step one is to make the tree diagram. The first event is a coin toss. When we toss a coin, there are two possible outcomes, heads and tails. We'll use H for heads and T for tails. The second event is rolling a number cube. And as you can see at the bottom right of the screen, there are six possible outcomes when rolling a number cube. So what we want to do is draw six arrows from both the H and the T, and at the bottom of these arrows is all six of those possible outcomes. This moves us on to step number two. List all the possible outcomes. We can do this by following the arrows. The possible outcomes are H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, and finally T6. So all together, there are 12 possible outcomes. Now it's time for you to try. You are conducting a probability experiment. The experiment involves two separate events. The first event is a coin toss, and the second event is to spin the spinner below. So notice on that spinner, we have four possible outcomes. They are R, G, B, and Y. Make a tree diagram to find the sample space and determine the total number of outcomes. I would recommend you pause the video now, make your tree diagram, Determine the total number of outcomes, and then resume when you're ready to see if you are correct. Okay, let's take a look. There are eight possible outcomes. I would recommend you take a moment to pause the video, compare the tree diagram on the screen to the one on your paper. If you had any part of it incorrect, I would recommend you continue to pause and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.